Hi everybody. So what we're going to be working on today is we're going to make a shark today. So join along and let's learn how to make this ferocious shark. Today's materials are going to be pencil, a piece of paper, anything that you want to add color with, whether that's crayons, colored pencils, so colors, or even if you want to paint it, you can. And I like to outline everything, so I always write black marker. So if you could plan on outlining, grab some sort of black marker. Let's begin making this ferocious shark. Okie dokie. So what we're gonna do is, we are actually gonna find one of the bottom corners to start in. So it doesn't matter which bottom corner, I'll pick this one. So what we'll do is start from the bottom corner and we're gonna make a really, really, really big line going up, 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 up. Keep going, keep going. And to almost the top. So not the tippy tippy top, but almost the top. We want the shark to be very large. So that is our first line. And then the next thing we need to find is the other corner. So not the one we just used. Find the other corner, but then go a little bit in. So I just kind of like went, took a step to the side with my finger. And now I wanna, what I wanna do is I'm gonna make a curved line down to where my finger is. So I'm gonna go from the top of the shark's nose. I'm gonna make a curved line down to where my finger would be. Or maybe you just leave it there like I did. It's a nice way to figure out where you wanna go. All right, and so if you've made this kind of bendy, weird, multi triangle, fantastic. You just did a great job and that's all you have to do. Very nice. All righty, so I like to separate the shark into kind of like these two color blocks. There's like the top part of the shark and the bottom part of the shark. And we're gonna do that by putting a line, not quite down the middle, this side's a little smaller than this side. So what we'll do is we're gonna touch the tip of the shark's nose and remember, we want this side to be a little smaller. So we're just gonna bring a line down, all the way down. And if it's more even, that's okay. But do give it a try, so you can get this side to be a little smaller. All right, we split that color part of the shark. And let's go ahead and do the shark's eyeball. That's on this top part of the shark. So I'm gonna make a circle, okay? I made it pretty big. Sharks are very large, so I made a pretty big eye. And then inside, kind of on the side of it, I'm gonna do another circle, and I'm gonna shade, shade, shade that in. So you kind of have a choice here. Um, if you don't do the eyebrow, that eyebrow kind of makes the shark look a little more ferocious. But if you um, don't put the eyebrow in, it kind of stays looking pretty like nice and kind. So you have that choice of if you wanna leave it like this, or if you want to add like a ferocious eyebrow, eyebrows are great for showing emotions. Just by doing a little line, we can make it have a totally different feeling to it. So I'm gonna make a line like this. So it's kind of starting from the side and then it's gonna be going slanting upward. So now he's ferocious looking. All right, and now for the mouth. This part's super easy and pretty fun because it makes it look very much like a shark. So on the bottom side of the shark, we're going to do a sideways letter U. I like to make it pretty big for the shark's mouth. So I just made this nice letter U shape, but sideways. And then we're gonna add teeth to it. And the teeth can go all around the letter U, but don't put the teeth here. You see how there's no teeth right there? You can put teeth right here. All right, put teeth in. Teeth, 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 teeth. Fabulous. And a tongue. This is easy. I had someone tell me it looked like the McDonald's sign where it's like that kind of M shape. And I was like, great comparison. So this little bump, bump, M shape, like the McDonald's sign, you're just gonna touch the side here and you'll go do a bump and do a bump. And when you run into the tooth, that is when you will stop. So you might run into a tooth in a different place than I did, but that just means you will stop when you run into that. And something that people always forget on aquatic creatures is 
the gills. So the gills is what allows them to breathe underwater. So I'm gonna put, you can do two gills. They're these curved little lines. You could even do three. I think I did three on this one, but two or three, whatever works for you. And the back fin here. I'm just going to touch the shark's head, make a curved line going down. Okay, so it kind of went blue down, then touch where we stopped, and then make a curved line coming back towards the shark's body. And that will be the fin. It's kind of like a little point fin, curvy point fin. Perfect. All right, so the shark itself is done. Wonderful. But now we need to finish up with all these little things around it. This doesn't take too long, no. So we're going to put the water in because we know they are aquatic water living creatures. So we're going to make some waves. So we'll go up to the nose and so not the top of the nose, a little bit down. And we'll go wavy lines. So like curve and point and curve and point, curve, point, curve, point, curve, point. And when I run out of room here, I'll go to the other side and do the same thing till I run out of room there. Perfect. Now we'll do a fish because it's gonna be leaping out of the water to catch its dinner, the fish. All right, so we'll put that leaping in the air. So this is an ellipses. And so that's a pointy oval shape for the body. So what we'll do for that is we'll make a curved line here and then attach to its other side, another curved line. So now it looks kind of like a lemon or a football or an eyeball, a leaf, whatever you want this shape to be, an ellipsis. And for the bottom, triangle for the tail, an eyeball, the gills, because now we know that fish and all water animals need these little two lines. And I'm just gonna do a little letter U for its side fin. And lastly, a little triangle up on top to finish off that fish. That's a real easy way to make a fish. And the very last detail we'll put in here, unless you want to add a sun for later, that'll be your choice, is when you are splashing around in the water, which I'm sure this shark and this fish are doing, they're splash, 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 splashing. Little water droplets are going to get everywhere, right? Because you're splash, splash, splashing in the water. So let's go ahead and add some little water splashes to make it look like, you know, they're moving around in this water. It's not just super still and calm. It's it's about dinner time, basically, for this shark. And add a sun or a moon or whatever weather it is. Is it raining? Is it sunny? Is it snowing? Is it nighttime, daytime? Whatever you decide it to be. And I will talk about this when we get to coloring. But for now, that is our picture. And I'm going to start outlining it. what we're going to do is for this water, I want us to kind of try coloring this a little different. Instead of just coloring the water one solid color, which you could do, I want you to try to, I did kind of more of a wavy pattern. So I found like two different blues. I will say a lot of crayon boxes tend to have, oh, it was loud, um, like two different blues. Like here's like two different blue crayons. I think I even have two different blue markers that are for some reason slightly different, like these two. So whatever you have, and colored pencils typically have different blues as well, um, whatever you have. And if you only have one, this will still work. But really, we're just going to kind of make the same wavy line all throughout our water area of our picture. So I'm actually going to use crayons and marker. So I'll do a mixed media piece of art, which means I can use more than one kind of art material. I'm not just using crayons. I'm using crayons and markers. And you know, if I feel like it, I might even use colored pencils too. Really go for that mixed media type of artwork. But you'll fill in all these waves with one type of blue or the only type, whatever you've got. And then I might go in with another and make this water look really watery. And I really want to fill it in. Wave, 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 wave. And I'm going to work on this until I feel like it looks good. Okay, 
Okay, so I filled that in enough to where it's like, there is white space, but it is still like, when you look at it, you're like, ah, blue water. More blue water than white space. So fill that in as much as you can without actually coloring it solid. We don't wanna color it solid. And now I'll go ahead and finish up my shark. You can really do any colored shark if you want. Uh, they're usually more gray or blue in real life, but you know, do any color you like. Have fun with it. And there it is. I hope y'all enjoy making your super de duper ferocious, fabulous shark today. And I will see y'all next time. Have a good one. Bye.